Hello, my name is Mike Gag, and in this video, we are going to be looking at the label control uh, in our series on Windows programming with C Sharp. All I have up here is a, a blank Windows Forms application. Uh, I just went ahead and created a new project. I haven't modified it in any way. Uh, so let's talk about labels. Okay, uh, labels basically are static text that will appear on a form. Okay, uh, so labels can be placeholders for, for data from databases or uh, stuff that was pulled from somewhere else or stuff that's being read to the user or whatever. Uh, labels are very useful. So let's go ahead and put a label in our program. Uh, I'm going to come over here to the toolbox and I'm going to look for the label right here and I'm just going to click and drag it onto my form. And there we go. It's pretty much that simple. Um, now, there are a whole lot of properties that revolve around a label, but there's not very many we're going to use on a regular basis. Okay, so I just want to talk about some of the more common properties uh, that we're going to use, and uh, and then we're going to go ahead and play around with some of the stuff that we can do. Now, a label, like I said before, is simply static text. So the most important property of the label is the text property. All right. Uh, that's, I mean, but that's basically what it says. And since a, a label is purely a string that's on a form, uh, that's obviously our most important part. So let's go ahead and change this here uh, to say, we'll do hello world. You know, it never gets old. Uh, hello world. Okay, so we've got our, our label that says hello world. Um, and let's go ahead and change the name of it. We have this label one, and that's fine, but we really should change it um, because if we have like 20 or 30 different labels in our, in our program, we're going to forget while we're coding which label meant what, and which label was for what. Um, something I like to do, I like to do LBL for labels, so I'll just call it label uh, string. It's real generic. It's just, you know, the string that we're going to uh, have on the screen there. And we see hello world, and I run it, and I see hello world. I can't highlight it or anything. It's just static text. Awesome. Okay. Let's talk about a couple of the other properties. Um, we have just all sorts of properties here that you can look at. Uh, one of the fun ones I like is this cursor property. If I change this to say cross, all right, and then I run it, you'll see my mouse turns into a cross while I'm over it. It doesn't really serve much of a purpose. It's just, it can be fun. Um, we can change our fonts, we can change our four colors, we can give it images, uh, margins and paddings are purely for aesthetics and things like that to make it look more the way you want. And finally, a very useful property here is this visible property. Now, if I can set this visible property to false, all right, and when I run it, we can't see the label, okay? Um, and then if I set it back equal to true, we can see the label, all right? Great. So. Um, there's really not a lot more to it. Labels are pretty, pretty simple. Um, so let's look at some code, all right? I'm going to double click on form one to create a form load event, all right? And here's our code with our form load event. And in our form load, let's see, the but label already says hello world, so we're going to change it. Uh, LBL string uh, dot text, there we go, equals hello world again, we'll say, all right? And I'll run it, and we say "Hello World" again. Okay, we've programmatically modified one of the one of the properties. Now you might be thinking to yourself, "How do I know what properties I can modify and things like that?" Well, there's two ways, and they're both really really simple. Uh, so let's come back here to our form, and let me select my label, and you can see all these properties here. All right. If yours doesn't look like this, there are a couple options here, like this categorize, puts them in categories. I prefer alphabetized. And if you see these, that means you're on the events and you want to be on the properties, just like that. So uh, that's how you get it to look like mine. But if I want to change the text, I can see the name of the property is text, as well as the name of the property is visible. So I can come over here and go uh, lbl string dot visible equals false. All right, and I run it, and it disappears. Okay, this form load event fires off. It sets our, our label to false uh, for visible, and it disappears. I can put a breakpoint here and run it. And we see there's no form to see yet because the form load event hasn't finished firing off. Um, but you can see this block of code inside here, and this is going to set our label to false. And I can see all the things about our label by expanding that out there. All right. Let me stop this here. Um, 
Another easy way to know what stuff you can do is if I do LBL string dot, and this is all of the stuff I can do with a label. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff we can do here. Most of it we'll never touch. All right, uh, but we got event handlers, we got data bindings. Here's that cursor that I was talking about right there, and we can just keep looking and uh, we can change. Let's see here couple of things we can change that are useful. We can change the name programmatically. Right now it's label string. We can make it name something else. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Uh, but if we want to write to it, all right, I can't do LBL string equals hello world. Okay, that won't work. Okay, I'm going to get an error. And the error is cannot convert from string to label. This is a label object, not a string. All right, uh, this I see this a lot with students uh, trying to do this. This does not work, and they always ask me, why isn't this working? Because this is a label, okay? What we want to modify is the text property. You all remember the properties, right, from classes? That's that get and set methods that we wrote. Um, that's what this is. This is the property that allows us to access the string inside the label, all right? Uh, and then that works there. Another th neat thing we can do, let's go ahead and add another label. I'll come over to my toolbox. I'll drag another label in there. Um, you can see we get some nice formatting things where we can line them up and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and I'm going to call this one LBL string 2. Not a very great name, but that's what we're doing any anyway. Uh, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say LBL string 2 dot text equals LBL string dot text. All right, so we can copy from one label to another label, and we'll see them be identical. Obviously, I didn't line them up very well, but you can see. Okay, um, so that I mean that pretty much covers labels. Labels are very simple. You pretty much either write to them or read from them. Okay, either way, you're going to use this text property, and you're going to put in a string or pull out a string. Okay, there's really not a whole lot more there. I mean, this, that's pretty much straight up all there is to do with labels. So uh, that's going to conclude this video on labels. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where we are going to talk about buttons.